134 runs behind. India have lost seven wickets and three more wickets and they will be staring at a lead, a deficit of over 100. Consider this fact that they will be batting second. Now looking at the Ranchi wicket, lot of people commented, why do India prepare bad pitches considering that they will win the toss and bat first? Why couldn't they have prepared the same kind of wicket that was there in Rajkot and in Vizag? Why did they have to go back on a pitch that was a rank turner? The perception that everybody is getting is that the Ranchi wicket is becoming a rank turner. You saw how the England spinners did it. Bashir bowled relentlessly for 31 overs and he got 4 wickets for 84. Tom Hartley settled into his groove. But did the Indian cricket team and management ask the curators to prepare rank turners? Because if you look at how the Ranchi wicket was, it did seem like quality spinners and even spinners with a bit more accuracy can actually weigh down the best batters. Or is it? Because bowling coach Paras Mamre is adamant that they did not do it. Because he came for the press conference. Looking at the performance of the batters, looking at the performance of the bowlers, we all knew that perhaps the backroom staff, somebody would come. Either Vikram Rathod or Paras Mamre. So Paras Mamre came for the PC and that's where he stated whether India asked the curators to prepare a rank turner. In that, Paras Mamre was adamant. He stated, the venues are not something we can continue. There are no specific instructions whether we want a rank turner. You cannot guarantee the exact wicket we wanted. Look at it. There is no clear cut instruction. And if you look at with a very cold calculated sense of fact, the Indian team would not have told the curators what to prepare. Because unlike the World Cup, this is where the curators sometimes get their own. Ranchi traditionally has been like this. Forget 2017, that was a total featherbed altogether. Here in 2019, it is kind of very similar, but Paras Mamre stated that this cannot be a rank turner because of one certain factor. The wicket gets slower. In the past, it has gotten slow and low. To be honest, we never expected to stay the, we never expected the ball to stay that low in second day. We never expected the variable bounce. This last two words is the key variable bounce because if you saw there were not much there were not many deliveries that were turning square there was little turn but it was slow turn and if you look at Bashir most of the wickets it hit a crack and then it went in it was just if you bowl the deliveries there's very little turn that is coming off the deck itself but now the slow and low bounce that is there, the variable bounce, that's what got the Indians in trouble. That's why they couldn't use their feet that often. Shubman Gill was trying, Yashasvi Jaiswal was trying, but as the game progressed, the second session, it became slower. And that is why England were really, really in the ascendancy at that time. The batters didn't have that kind of application. And he said, not many deliveries spun square. So it is not the question of a rank turner at all. It is only the up and down bounce. And traditionally, if you look at it pre-COVID and now the first test you're playing in COVID, uh, post-COVID, the wicket in Ranchi has remained the same. Of course, unlike in the 2019 test where the batting became easier from day two, here the batting has actually become harder. That's the only difference. There is actually no guarantee on the nature of the wicket. As he wanted, you cannot guarantee the exact wicket we wanted. Sure, they wanted a wicket like Rajkot and Vizag. But here the curators, they know what kind of soil it is. Soil in Ranchi is different than the soil in Vizag that is there and also in Rajkot. So, if you look at this way, the variable bounce undid India. Some kept low, some kept quite it shot up from the length because it hit the crack. And that's why you look at it. The delivery that uh, dismissed Ben Stokes, compare it to the delivery that Yashasvi Jaiswal got, it skidded through low. So, that's why it is that up and down bounce. But then, if Shoaib Bashir could get four wickets, why Ashwin couldn't get it? We all acknowledge that Ravi Chandra and Ashwin is going through a rare, rare bad slump. Because at home, you look at it from 2013 till 2023, his stats at home have been phenomenal. But Ashwin, is he under pressure? Paras Mamre stated that every individual bowler has a style and strength. Every spinner has his own way of bowling. Every individual needs to stick to his strengths. We need not look at what they have done. He stated that, yes, Bashir bowled very well. He followed the process. He kept it simple. 
Now, if they have done well, we have to focus on our own strengths. So, it was kind of a generalized answer to what was the bowling all around in that sense. Ashwin, we understand the fact that yes, it's a rare slump, but he can bounce back. We don't know the kind of mindset that we all pointed out how he might be after what happened in Rajkot. So, cut him some slack. 10 years he's been doing very well here at home on these kind of wickets. Maybe he's struggling to adapt. So, let's see how that goes. So, Paras Mamre is clear. It is not a rank turner. And there has been no specific instructions. That's the key. No specific instructions. So, let's hope that India can bounce back. But if they get a deficit of 100, chasing 250, 300 on this kind of wicket will be very, very difficult. And 2-2 heading into Dharamshala then, it can be anybody's game. But did India really have to go with this kind of a wicket? That is a debate that we'll have in detail tomorrow because we have to wait for the Indian batting and then we'll wait for the end of the match to guess whether it was the right wicket or whether it was not the right wicket. Thank you so much folks for joining us for this live. We'll be back with more updates on sports today. Tap that bell icon so you know when we go live. And don't forget we are on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as well. Bye-bye.